no better place to spend your Memorial Day than at the ballpark. It was opening day for Bismarck's very own at Bismarck's very own municipal ballpark, and the Larks kicked off their 2024 season hosting the St. Cloud Rocks. It's the Larks' eighth season in Bismarck, and the only returning Lark from last season was Cade Torgerson. He got the start on the mound, and how about this play from him? That is an incredible throw, much harder to do than it looks. Bismarck would open the scoring in the bottom of the first as Nathan Martinez's grounder can't be dealt with. He beats the throw to first, and Alex Alva speeds home to make it 1-0 Larks. Later in the first inning with the bases loaded, the Larks would make it a 3-0 ball game as Will Millard hits an RBI ground out to second, bringing around Isaac Huddle, who's from Mandan. Now bottom of the third, the Larks threatening again with the bases loaded. Ryan Rushing sends Andrew Nieves sw down swinging. This ends the inning with a big strikeout. A rain delay puts this game on hold in the seventh inning. The Larks were leading 4-2 over the Rocks. The Badlands Big Sticks are newcomers in the Northwoods League. It was opening day for the inaugural members out in Dickinson as the team hosted the Duluth Huskies. This game is currently in the eighth inning with the Big Sticks leading 10-5 over the Huskies. Well, breaking news, the Minnesota Twins still aren't playing on cable television. Minnesota has won its past two series, winning two out of the three games in Washington against the Nationals and then two out of the three games at Target Field against the Texas Rangers. The Twins hosted division rivals Kansas City this afternoon. The Twins would crack the game open in the bottom of the third with the runner on first, Jose Miranda, blast this ball over the wall in left center, making it a 2-0 ball game for Minnesota. Then in the bottom of the fifth, Trevor Larnick, he, it's his turn to get in on the action. He blasts this ball high and deep over right field, and it's over the wall. It's a three-run shot, making it 5-0 Twins. Now in the bottom of the eighth, the Twins with a 5-1 lead. Alex Krilloff lifts one high, and that's Melendez who can't make the catch. Max Kepler will score from third to make it a 6-1 ball game. Then in the top of the ninth, the Royals will make it a close one as Mikhail Garcia hits a chopper, and Willie Castro's third to first is errant. Two runs will score for the Royals. The Royals will pull within one, but the Twins go on to win 6-5 to five over Kansas City. And pretty important on the golf course, there was a hole-in-one this afternoon at Apple Creek Country Club in Bismarck. Eric Spencer was the lucky man who hit his first ever hole-in-one. It came on hole number seven, which is 150 yards 